Hello all, welcome to orotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we add a custom participant in GL general BPM workflow and the user list is based on SQL logic. So let's see the first slide. So the first slide tells about how do we enable approval for the GL general. So until unless you enable this particular option for your GL general, like uh, you may not require an approval. So now here we have checked check this checkbox saying that we require an approval for the general. That's the first thing. And also you'll have another option at the general source level, the based on the source requirement, you can, you know, you have to enable the approval requirement. Okay. Now coming to the next thing. So we need to understand what is the name of the GL workflow, right? So you just navigate to setup and maintenance, task list, search, manage task configuration for financials, and then search for this particular task name, pin GL general approval. Okay. So click on that, click on edit. And here, if you observe, I have added a participant called XXORA underscore approval. And here, very important thing is XXORA underscore approval is my the participant name. And assignee is based on names and expression. And also, assignee's list is based on user. And in this user, I have mentioned a query called select Cathy Brown, nothing but my username from Jewel. So here, I hard coded the username here. And you have to follow this particular syntax specifically, if at all, if you want to work on a SQL based workflow, SQL based user list. So in this one, I'm not passing any parameter, but in the other session, maybe in the next coming session, I'll try to provide a, a parameter based query also. But for now, as a simple query, I just hard, hard coded my username. And this is syntax you have to mention for the SQL query. Now, what exactly this particular query is doing is it just simply provides a username called Cassie Brown. That's it. So for Training purpose, I just disabled all the participants which are not required and I just enable only this participant. Okay. Now, once this particular assignee logic is enabled for this particular participant, then next thing is what we can do is we can just try to create a journal. Once you create a journal and you should be able to see this particular one like a, in the transaction monitor like this one. I just created one journal called XXORA-002 and you could see here assignee is based on Cassie Brown and also and as a Cassie Brown user, I logged in and I just clicked on approve. And then the transaction monitor, we could see this was submitted by FAS 16 dot student and it is approved by Cassie Brown. And from the general level also, we could see that it got approved by Cassie Brown. Now let us see all these technical things from the UI now one by one. So I'll just navigate to the user called FAS 16 dot student. And the first thing is the manage specify general options, right? So I'll just navigate here, click on setup and maintenance. And I'm in the setup financial stuff okay specify ledger options and click on this and we already select this selected the scope as us primary ledger and also this is the main checkbox enable journal and manual sub ledger approval this is the first thing and the other one is you need to select manage ledger sources general sources many general sources click on this and here you search the name as manual and check it out the option whether you require general approval or not yes it is enabled and now the next thing is navigate to the general accounting create the general now so i'll just navigate to general accounting click on general journals and now click on the task list now create a journal now create a journal so here make sure that you should see the approval status is required until unless you see the approval status required it will not invoke any of the ppm workflow or a zero zero three so this is my batch name this is my journal header name and here mention the category now select any specific account as of now we we don't have any specific role just a simple approval we are sending to the user cassie brown now just okay now click on save and here in the batch actions you can say request approval 
and it says that your general approval request has been submitted. Now you can navigate to the transaction monitor from the tool section. Click on tools. In this tools, click on transaction console. From here, you can clearly observe what is happening to the workflow, whether it got submitted, who got approved, how many, how many users are assigned for it. So generally, it will take some time, a couple of seconds. Click on this general name. It's not at assigned as of now. It's still in the process, okay? It says like in progress. Now, we'll navigate to our BPM work list. So here, I can navigate to the BPM work list directly also. Fusion apps URL slash integration work list app. So you can just click on task configuration and here you can search the work list name. So this is our work list name. So I'll just search here. And here select this. And here click on click on pencil icon. So this is will be enabled for the modification. So now what we can do is so whatever the rules which are already there is just simply click on it. And here just simply click on it advance and you can simply disable it or ignore participant I mean to say and then I just added here right so you can just right click on any of the task or participant click on this pencil icon add participant add sequential and based on the requirement you can mention serial approval or whatever it is but in our case I just added a very simple one add sequential serial single so once you add up a participant here yeah it is a multi-level one but yeah it's okay so you can just in our case anyway we have only one single approver so just mention the participant name and here assignee is based on names and expression and assignees will be user and you have to mention the query that's it once it is done then just click on this particular icon commit task which will commit the bpm workflow and now we'll just navigate here as of now I'll just try to refresh yeah so it got assigned to the user called cassie brown click on this particular journal and you should be able to see like who submitted and to whom it is pending. So it is submitted by this user. It is assigned to Cassie Brown. So now I'll just navigate to the other browser with the user Cassie Brown and just refresh and just see the latest notification whether we are able to see the general three for approval, right? So we are able to see the general three for approval which was received just one minute back. Click on approve. And you can also observe the same information now. Let us say you can go back to the FA616 student and here try to refresh the screen. You should be able to see that. Now you can see that you know the status got into green. It means that the general got approved. Yep, perfect. And you can also see the similar information from the general level also. Now we can go back to the general, general accounting generals, and you can search the general. Click on many journals. And here our batch name starts with XX order. So I'll just click on enter. And this is the latest one. Yeah, three. Click on show more. And perfect. So we should be able to, we are able to see that it got approved. So it's a very simple workflow in which we hard coded the user, but user list. But in the next session, we'll try to design a logic and we'll try to generate multiple users and we'll understand how we can design a query based on based on a parameter as well as multiple users. Thank you.